So one group that has been noticeably silent in this debate has been Hollywood celebrities who routinely interject themselves in a lot of discussions about foreign policy, as we've seen in the past, especially when it came to the Iraq war. They were very incensed, uh, many, many of them, about that. So what's different this time? William Lajeunesse is live in Los Angeles. Where are, where's the outcry, William? Well, what's different, Martha, is you have a Democrat in office, and President Obama, unlike President Bush, is very popular here in Hollywood. In fact, he had a $32,000 plate fundraiser scheduled but canceled here last night, hosted by the co-producer of Friends. But here's what is the same. Saddam Hussein used chemical weapons against his own people, used partially to justify our actions there. The same accusation is now being used by President Obama to justify an attack in Syria. Innocent people will die. Back then, 100 Hollywood elite signed a petition saying war itself is unnecessary, archaic, and harmful. I need to know what did Iraq do to us? Don't invade Iraq. Inspections work. War won't. I do not believe that this administration has made a reasonable or logical case for a rush to war. I think war is never the answer to solving any problems. Now, they were joined by Don Cheadle, Matt Damon, Lawrence Fishburne, Ethan Hawke, Samuel L. Jackson, and Ed O'Neill, among many others. But today, not a tweet, no People magazine, no Access Hollywood, not even Twitter. Not even Sean Penn, the human shield, who went to Baghdad to personally stop an airstrike. This time, nothing. Why? Well, some suggest, or call it a double standard, based not on principle, but political party. Here's a former Screen Actors Guild trustee. I mean, they really, really were adamant about not going to war in Iraq. Well, what about now? Is this war okay? Or is it because they like Obama so much they want to let him do whatever he wants to do? Now, Ed Asner said last week, many in Hollywood don't speak out because, quote, they don't want to feel anti-black by being opposed to Obama. Out of 100 celebrities who signed this anti-war petition, 90 have said nothing about this proposed bombing of Syria. Martha? Interesting story. William, thank you very much from the West Coast for us today.